The Battle of the Norris was a battle fought between 11 and the 14th of December 1952 during the Korean War between South Korean and Chinese forces on two adjacent hills known as Big Nori and Little Nori. Chapter 1 Background In early December 1952 the Republic of Korea Army 1st Infantry Division occupied defensive positions on the double horseshoe bend of the Imjin River. On the west bank of the river, as it began its first horseshoe turn, lay a low hill complex known as Nori, Big Nori formed the western half of the ridge and Little Nori the eastern half. The ROC 15th Regiment maintained outposts on these hills and also on Hill Betty, about 0.75 miles south of Little Nori, and on Hill 105, approximately one mile southwest of Little Nori. The Chinese People's Volunteer Army controlled outposts on the terrain to the north and west of Nori, but had remained fairly inactive in that sector in early December. Chapter 2 Battle On the 11th of December two battalions of the 420th Regiment, 140th Division, 47th Army, closely followed 800 rounds of artillery and water fire in an attack upon the rock outposts on Little Nori, Betty, and Hill 105. The main weight fell on Little Nori as two PVA companies sought to dislodge the men of the ROC 15th Infantry. After a bitter three-hour exchange at close range, the ROC defenders were ordered to pull back to Hill 69, 300 yards to the east of Little Nori. After regrouping, the ROC 15th launched two counterattacks, but the two platoons committed failed to drive the PVA off the heights. The PVA waited until the attack forces neared their defensive positions, then hurled hand grenades and loosed a withering artillery, mortar, and small arms fire. Later in the morning, however, a small force from the ROC 11th Regiment, which had relieved the 15th Regiment, reoccupied Little Norrie without opposition. In the meantime, the ROC units on Betty had held, but those on Hill 105 had to fall back temporarily. Evidently the PVA movement against Hill 105 was only a diversion, for they left shortly thereafter and the ROC forces reoccupied the positions without incident. 380 to 1 on the night of the 11th, the PVA first launched a two-company drive against Little Nori, then increased the attacking force to a battalion, and the ROC again withdrew to Hill 69. Air support was called in and 6B-26s dropped over 100-260 pound fragmentary bombs on the hill. Twelve battalions of artillery poured a continuous hail of shells on the PVA, but four counterattacks by the ROC 11th Regiment on 12 December failed. Despite the punishment administered by large and small arms and the mounting toll of losses, the PVA held the hill. 381 The artillery concentrations went on during the night of 12-13 December and when morning arrived, a battalion from the ROC 11th Regiment moved in with two companies in the attack. Fighting steadily forward, they won their way back to Little Nori, but met with little success in their efforts to clear Big Nori. On the evening of the 13th, the ROC dug in and awaited the expected PVA counterattacks. Two PVA companies vainly attempted to penetrate the ROC positions during the night, and as the morning of the 14th of December dawned, the contest resolved itself into a stalemate, 382. Chapter 3, Aftermath The entire action on Big and Little Norrie took place in an area 300 yards wide and 200 yards deep. During the engagement the UN artillery fired 120,000 rounds, and the mortar crews over 31,000 while tanks added over 4,590mm shells. Supporting aircraft flew 39 missions of 177 sorties to bomb and astraf the PVA positions with napalm, high explosives, and rockets. In return the ROC received over 18,000 rounds of mixed artillery and mortar fire from PVA guns, 382 The ROC suffered about 750 casualties including 237 dead, while the estimated total for the PVA ranged between 2,290 and 2,732. 
According to a deserter from the Chinese 420th Regiment in January, the regiment was removed from the line because of the heavy casualties it took in the battle and placed in reserve, 382 action in the Norrie sector settled down to patrols and raids during January 1953. The PVA dispatched two platoon-sized probes during the month and on 23 January the ROC 11th Regiment sent a three-platoon raiding party against Big Norrie. Air strikes, artillery, and mortar fire, and fire from 12 supporting tanks enabled the raiders to gain the crest, destroy PVA bunkers and then withdraw safely, 382.